going to do number 60. I have these graphs from problem number 14, so if you want to go back and look at that, I'll explain how I got them though. They gave us the graph of the derivative, and we have to graph the original function. So what happens is whenever I have a min or max, that's when it's going to cross the x-axis in my position. Also, when the derivative is above the x-axis, that means I'm going to have a positive slope in my position function. So when it's below the x-axis, I have a negative slope. And then above the x-axis, it goes up because I have a positive slope. And then below, it would go back down because I have a negative slope. Okay? So for 16, they want to know if it's concave down on the interval of negative infinity to negative 1. And from 1 to infinity. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to look at the graph of my position function. And from negative infinity to negative 1 is over here. And because it's going down here, this is concave down. So that part's true. And then from 1 to infinity, I have the same thing. It's concave down. So that part's true. So this is true. So the hardest part of these bonus questions is coming up with your graphs. They give you the graph of the derivative, and you have to graph the original, and then from there you can answer all of the questions. It's just important that remember if the derivative is above the x-axis, positive slope, below is a negative slope. Remember concave down is when my parabola is going down and I can draw a line on top of it. Concave up would be this bottom one where it's coming up. Okay, so this one is true for number 16.